And when do you make the transition from being a wiki that was trying to smack it out of the park? Like, who says, mate, you should have start having a bit more of a bowl? Yeah, it was uh, turned out a good decision, didn't it? But very um, good decision. Although you could have been <laughs> the greatest wicket keeper batsman we've ever seen. We don't know this, Starkey. Oh, don't know about that. Bit, bit too tall, bit hard on the knees, maybe. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was probably through Northern District stuff. Um, so Elisa and I shared the keeping for a few years, and it was sixty over cricket, I think, at that stage. So we sort of do half you, an hour. How old were you when you met you two? I should have gone back and listened to her episode. How old were you? <laughs> we it was the under tens Northern District, so we we bumped into each other for the first time, and down to Cheltenham Oval, and. She was playing for Carlingford. I was at Barilla, and somehow we were both in Northern Districts. So um, we both we get kept. So we we pretty much go half and half. So it was thirty overs each. Um, <laughs> one of the other kids was the coach for the first couple of years. Then a few years later, my dad took over. We still shared the keeping, and then we had another another young guy come in one year who was also a keeper. So it was almost like we did for a little bit. We did twenty overs each. Um, and then I, I must have been third best, so I found myself out of the keeping job. Wow. And I think I actually bowled like left arm leggies or something for a little bit, like tried something. I like, certainly wasn't a seam bowler and still tried to hit him like Gilly. And then Elise's dad took over when she went off to women's cricket, which was about under 14s or 15s. But she'd fill in from time to time and, and really um, – show us boys up because there was a few times we played some big kids and none of us wanted it because he's a big fast bowler and she'd go out and take him on. Wow. So it was no surprise that she found herself in the breakers at a young age. Um, but but Greg, her dad, um, kept coaching the, the rep team till our last year, which was under 15s, I think. Um, and then it wasn't until I was trialling for these Green Shield teams, which was the transition between junior cricket and grade cricket. It was that sort of step in between for young guys around grade cricket clubs uh, to get them into to grade cricket and that step in too. So trialled for, tri- tried for Parramatta, UTS Balmain at the time and West. And so didn't get picked by Parra, didn't get picked by Balmain. I remember being at West and... It was the obligatory trial session where everyone had a bat and a bowl and they came up with some sort of squad from it. Anyway, I'm, I'm there going, yeah, I'm, I'm here as a weed keeper. And the coach at the time was pretty much going, well, no, you're not. Look at the size of you. Go and have a bowl. <laughs> I never bowled seam off mid. Well, I probably tried in the nets or at school or something like that, but I was like, yeah, righto, I'll have a go. Um, didn't get picked, but I, I got told, come come along as the train-on squad. Come, come along for the winter. And it was down at... Kingsgrove Indoor Centre and I remember the first session Neil the coach basically put me in the far net by myself with a bucket of balls said right uh, bowl off one step so I bowled every ball in the bucket off one step so go pick them up do it again that was it for the one, the first session I had that was it bowl off one step in the back net came back the next session right uh, three steps did that again and again right uh, five steps and then came up with some sort of a natural runner and bowling action from that. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy and peace and love.